This technique demonstrates an arthroscopic single row rotator cuff augmentation using ConMed's Why Not Pro RC with Hi Fi Ribbon, Why Not Pro Flex, and Allopatch HD. First, prepare the footprint in the subacromial space using ConMed's dual purpose shaver blade featuring exclusive stealth technology. To begin the single row repair, insert the Why Not Pro RC with Hi Fi ribbon at the anterior insertion site of the footprint. Mallet the self punching anchor into bone until the first laser line has been reached. The anchor features a cleatless delivery system, so simply pull back firmly on the driver handle to unwind the sutures and remove the driver. Then pull back on all the suture limbs to confirm anchor fixation. Next, gently mallet another Why Not Pro RC into the posterior insertion site found on the footprint. Remove the anchor driver and pull back on all the suture limbs to set the anchor. ConMed Spectrum AutoPass Suture Passer reliably passes suture in thick tissue and gives the surgeon the option of capturing the suture in the trap door. Use the Spectrum AutoPass to pass all the suture limbs from each anchor through the remaining rotator cuff tissue. ConMed's Hi-Fi Ribbon is a flat, tieable tape that provides broad compression and increased tendon-to-bone interface. Then, use the Katana Flush Cutter, which can cut up to two limbs of number two Hi-Fi Suture, Hi-Fi Ribbon, or Hi-Fi Tape. In preparation for augmentation, use a spinal needle to determine placement of the first Why Not Pro Flex anchor. Next, place the Why Not Flex drill guide at the anterior footprint and anterior to the Why Not Pro RC anchor that was placed previously. Drill the Why Not Flex drill bit to create a transtendinous tunnel. The Why Not Pro Flex all suture anchor also features the cleatless delivery system. Gently mallet the anchor in and remove the driver to uncleat the sutures. Set the anchor by pulling back on all suture limbs. Then remove one strand of Hi-Fi suture. Next, place the Why Not Flex drill guide at the posterior footprint and posterior to the Why Not Pro RC anchor that was placed previously. Drill the Why Not Flex drill bit to create a transtendinous tunnel. Gently mallet the Why Not Pro Flex and remove the driver to deploy and uncleat the sutures. Set the anchor by pulling back on all suture limbs and remove one strand of Hi-Fi suture. Use a ruler to measure the tear from anterior to posterior and medial to lateral to determine the graft size. Once accurate measurements are taken, transfer the measurements to the Allopatch HD and cut to size. The Allopatch HD requires no hydration and is ready to use off the shelf almost immediately. Use a suture retrieval device to pull one of the suture limbs from the anterior Why Not Proflex out of the joint anteriorly. Do the same on the posterior side. Retrieve the remaining two sutures through an 8 mm cannula and then pass them individually through two corners of the Allopatch HD. Secure the two sutures passed through the graft with two knots at each corner. Next, introduce the Allopatch HD into the joint through the 8 mm cannula by pulling on the suture limbs located outside the joint anteriorly and posteriorly until the patch reaches the humeral cortex. Retrieve one knot above the graft back outside the joint through the cannula and then pull the remaining suture limb through the cannula. Tie the suture down to the Allopatch HD and use the Katana Flush Cutter to cut the suture tails. Then, retrieve the other knot through the cannula and then pull the remaining suture limb through the cannula. Tie the suture down to the Allopatch HD and use the Katana Flush Cutter to cut the suture tails. Next, insert the Why Not Flex drill guide at the lateral anterior footprint of the graft. Drill the Why Not Flex drill bit to create a tunnel for the Why Not Pro Flex anchor. Gently mallet the Why Not Pro Flex and remove the driver to uncleat the sutures. Set the anchor by pulling back on all suture limbs and remove one strand of Hi-Fi suture. Use the Spectrum Auto Pass Suture Passer to pass one suture limb through the corner of the graft. Tie the suture down to the Allopatch HD 
and use the katana flush cutter to cut the suture tails. Repeat this process with another Why Not ProFlex anchor near the lateral posterior footprint of the graft. Set the anchor by pulling back on all suture limbs and remove one strand of Hi-Fi suture. Use the Spectrum AutoPass Suture Passer to pass one suture limb through the corner of the graft. Tie the suture down to the Allopatch HD and use the Katana Flush Cutter to cut the suture tails. The graft is secure and the augmentation is now complete. <music>